Are you struggling with stutters and FPS drops in Fortnite? So this video is for you. In this video I will guide you guys how you can fix these issues simply changing some settings. After these settings guys you will get maximum FPS and smoother gameplay without any stutters and FPS drops. So guys hit the like button and make sure to subscribe. Let's dive in. So in the first step, guys open your Epic Games Launcher, find Fortnite and click on Options. Once inside the Install Options, you'll see this setting here called Pre-Download Streamed Assets. And it's really important that you have this selected. What this setting does is it pre-installs assets that would normally be streamed into the game when you join. And that right there is the main culprit for a lot of people's game stuttering. So it's really essential that you have this setting turned on. High resolution textures are responsible for making the game look better, but that can come at the cost of FPS. So if you want a slide boost, go ahead and disable that. Do keep in mind your game will look slightly worse. Then you've got Save the World, which is files for a completely separate game. If you don't play that, just go ahead and deselect it. While you're still in the Epic Games launcher, if you go into settings at the top right, scroll down until you see desktop notifications and disable both of these settings. What this does is it disables those frequent annoying pop-ups that are notorious for causing FPS stutters. Open your Fortnite in-game settings. Make sure your window mode is set to full screen as this is crucial to avoid any issues. For the resolution, keep it set to your native one for now. Don't change it just yet. Turn off V-Sync and for the frame rate limit, you can either set it to unlimited or match it to your monitor's hertz or refresh rate. Next, set the rendering mode to performance. This will lower the graphical quality but help increase your FPS. Graphics settings are a matter of personal preference. Set the graphics quality to the lowest settings, but keep the 3D resolution at 100. Set most other options to the lowest or turn them off. Scroll down to find NVIDIA Reflex Latency. I prefer to keep this on as it slightly reduces latency, but if it impacts your FPS, feel free to turn it off. Then go to the game settings and scroll down to find energy saving modes. Many players have reported FPS stutters when these options are enabled, so I recommend turning both of them off. While you're here, you might notice the replay settings above. Disable most of these as they can also negatively impact your in-game performance. Now go to the audio settings and scroll down until you see the subtitles section. Follow these settings exactly. Turn the subtitles off. Set the text size to extra small. Set the text color to white. Set the text border to none. And set the background opacity to clear. This little trick, used by Booger, can help slightly boost your FPS, so be sure to try it if you haven't already. Don't forget to click apply and then exit the game. Now guys, you need to download this Fortnite Ultimate FPS Boost Pack on your PC. You can download this pack on one click from my official website. After download, extract it on desktop and open this folder. Here you can see Best Reg Pack, Windows Commands, Fortnite Priority, and others. So first open this registry folder and here install them one by one. After that, go back and open Windows commands, and again, open these commands one by one. These commands are about important Windows settings. After that, open this Fortnite priority folder. And guys, these registry files are about how your CPU deal with your Fortnite. So guys, if you have low-end PC, use this normal priority. And if you have med-end PC, so use this medium priority option. And if you have high-end PC, you use this high priority option. After that, now go back and open this optimization tools folder. So first open this ISLC application. Once you open the program, customize the settings to help reduce input delay. Leave the list size at its default value, but adjust the free memory setting based on the amount of RAM your system has. Input the appropriate values, then click the button to clear the standby list. Now guys, open Park Control application. Once the program is open, select the profile you want and choose Bitsum Highest Performance. Then, make sure both Parking AC and Parking DC are turned off and set to 100. Next, enable Dynamic Boost and ensure it's turned on. This feature turns off CPU threads that aren't in use when your computer is idle, but it activates all threads when you're gaming to ensure the best performance. After that, go to the Power Options, click on it, and select Bitsum Highest Performance. This will optimize your CPU to run at full power, ensuring the highest FPS possible. Finally, Click Make Active and apply the changes. So guys, now in the next step, you need to download the Lago Fast on your PC to boost your FPS and lower your ping in Fortnite and thousand plus other games. So simply download and install the Lego Fast. 
Link is available in the video description. So after installing this tool, here you will find this kind of interface of the Legafast. And in the very first step, you need to log into your account here using your email address. Therefore, you can use this tool on your PC. So now here on the left side, you will find an option for optimizing your PC or your console for getting the easy lobby and for boosting your FPS in any game. So guys, go for the Home tab. There you will find all installed apps and games available on your PC. If you just go for the PC tab here, you will find all the games available on your PC. You can go for the search bar and search for your favorite game. So guys, here we want to optimize Fortnite. So you need to go for this boost button. This will also optimize your ping and also help you to boost the FPS. This is right now one of the best pieces of software in the market, which helps you to optimize your ping and optimize your PC performance at the same time with just a single click. So guys, here you can check out here. Our PC is connected with the Lago Fast server and the Lago Fast server is connected with the Bahrain server and there is less than one MS ping between the Lago Fast and Bahrain servers and this software is optimizing the path for us. So now once you have boosted your favorite game, now go for the start game option and note your game using this option for boosting the FPS and for getting the lower. Now go to search bar and type here advanced system settings, click on it. In performance, choose settings. You'll see options like adjust for best appearance, adjust for best performance, or let Windows choose what's best for your computer. These options change how things look on your screen. For example, you can choose whether to show shadows under the mouse pointer, under Windows, or to show thumbnails instead of icons. I only keep a few of these options on because I think they help. Some settings, like outlining the whole window, are more for performance and smoothness, which is good for slower PCs. Even though I have a good computer, I still use these settings. Next, go to the Advanced tab. This is something we didn't cover before. You need to set how your computer uses the processor. Make sure Adjust for Best Performance of Programs is selected. This way, your computer will prioritize the program you're using. So, if you're playing a game, the computer will focus its resources on that. Next, open the Start menu and go to Settings. Once you're in Settings, navigate to the Gaming section and turn off the Xbox Game Bar. If you use the Game Bar for recording gameplay, it can negatively impact your game's performance because it runs in the background. Instead of the Game Bar, you can use other recording options like NVIDIA Shadow Play, though I personally don't recommend it. It's still better than the Game Bar. Another alternative is OBS, which works well for recording. For now, just make sure the Xbox Game Bar is disabled. After that, go to Game Mode and ensure it's turned on. Game Mode has improved a lot with recent Windows updates, and I'm quite happy with how it works now, so I recommend enabling it. While you're here, click on Graphics Settings under the Related Settings section. Then click on Browse. Next, you need, you need to locate the Fortnite executable file. Go to the folder where your game is installed, then go to Fortnite Game, followed by Binaries, and then Win64. Scroll through the folder until you find the .exe file for Fortnite. Once you find the correct file, select it and click Add. After adding it, click on Options, choose the High Performance setting, and then click Save. That's it! Your settings are now optimized. So guys, that was today's video, I hope you like it. Hit the like button and make sure to subscribe for more helpful videos. Peace out!